Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. Today, I wanted to do a kind of a part two of my periods of when to make money. Um, I got a comment on one of my videos, uh, that video specifically, that said the period of when to make money chart was actually created by Samuel Benner. So I just want to um, show some facts of when um, the chart was created, when it was created by each person, George Trich and Samuel Benner. Uh, I also want to look at um, a lot of people are saying the 2008-2012 crash wasn't included. Um, so I do want to address that. And I also want to look at where we look or where we're standing for 2023 and a couple uh, or I guess a few um speculative assets that I think are going to go up on this next um, panic cycle, which is where we were last, I think, 2019, when we had the huge melt up of the market. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, flip on over. All right. So we are looking at a publication written by, um, who is this written by? Um, I think... David McMinn, he was the author of this article. Um, so basically, um, in diagram one, which is up here, um, we have two sources. We have Trich for 1872 and we have Benner for 1875. Now, when we look at um, the actual original piece right here, um, this has a compiled, can you, oh, let me change my, this has a compiled right here, 1872, copyright 1883 and 1897. So just noting that um, this author calls that out saying it would be a very interesting to determine who was the first to produce the diagram one trich 1872 or benner 1875 i think we have our answer so that diagram was created on the business card of george trich's hardware company it looks like geo trich hardware company um in 1872 uh, Trich compiled the diagram in 1872 and he copyrighted the diagram in 1883 and 1897. While Benner published his book in 1875, who was a plagiarist? Question mark. This is these cycles are commonly attributed to Benner, while Trich is rarely mentioned. And I agree. Um, when this person commented on my video, I was like, who? Who's Samuel Benner? So that's where this uh, came from. So based on this information, it sounds like Trich created this cycle while Samuel Benner is getting the credit. Uh, Samuel Benner did create a publication. Benner's prophecies of future ups and downs in prices, what years to make money on pig, iron, hogs, corn, and produce. Um, so I'll put this in the link if you guys do want to read it. Uh, it does appear to be an interesting read if you are interested or if you are um if you do have interest in reading uh older publications um so i think that's why samuel benner gets uh the credit samuel benner created a publication a book and i think samuel benner goes more into solar cycles which affects crops produce um etc so who who do you want to take sides on trich or benner I think Trich created it. I think Benner um, is getting most of the um, recognition just just because the publication versus the public or the business card by George Trich. So we have this author who calls this out, and then we have another blog post on Blogspot where uh, this author says apparently the diagram was compiled by George Trich in 1872, but was not attributed to him by Samuel Benner in 1875. So this person recognizes as well that this was created before Samuel Benner had his prophecy, whatever. Um, so I just wanted to call those out, clear up any confusion. 
Um, I've got my video linked up above if you do want to check out that video. It's really good. It goes into um, all the panic periods. I look into all those. I kind of have a nice little presentation and then also talk about um, current events. Um, so I'll put this link down as well. Put three links, uh, four links, I guess, for this. So a lot of people um, say that 2012 was not included, which was the great financial crisis. Um, so just for a quick reference, this top, what did I just click? This top one line up here is A, years in which panics have occurred. This middle line here is years of good times, high prices, and the times to sell stocks and values of all kinds. And C is the year of hard times, low prices, and a good time to buy stocks. Uh, buy corner lots, goods, etc. And hold till the boom reaches the years of good times, then unload. So the years of good times is B. So we're in 2023 right here. Oh, well, let me shrink my head on this, actually. All right. So first, let's go back to 2012. So 2012 would be the year of panic here. Um, but if we go further back, 2008, 2012, 2007 right here, you can see me circling it, was the year of good times to sell. Then went down to 2012 right here, which is the year of good times to buy stocks and corner lots, meaning real estate. And then unloading again in 2018 with the year of panic being 2019. So um, take with that what you will. I think it does attribute to the 2008-2012 grand financial crisis. However, it, it is not listed in the year of panic up here. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I think if we are looking at this from the standpoint of 2007 was a good time to sell your stuff and then it went down back down um, to a good time to buy. So from 2007, things went from, all right, unloading to then 2012 of buying. I think that might capture the 2008-2012 great financial crisis. Um, but now let's look at 2023, which is today. So I'm circling that right here. This is the year of good times to buy stocks, corner lots, etc. Could you imagine how well off you would have been if you would have bought in 2012? Uh, real estate and some stocks. Um, so 2023, uh, and then a good time to sell is going to be 2026. And then 2032 is going to be, is going to kind of, I don't want to say it's going to be like 2008, 2012, but it's, it's kind of the same pattern. 2026 is going to be a good time to unload. And 2032, again, is going to be a good time to uh, re-up. And from 2032 to 2034, 35, that's going to be the time to kind of sell everything. Um, again, like if we would have done the same thing with real estate and stocks in 2019, 2018, 2019, we would have been really well off. Um, again, everybody's situation is different. Um, so yes, what kind of assets are we looking for? Um, in 2023, to then unload in 2026, but also per maybe repurchase 2032. I don't know. Um, so I think 2034, 2035 is going to be a particularly good time for cryptocurrency. And I do say that uh, for one cryptocurrency in specific, and that is the Shiba Inu coin. So I am a holder of this coin. I do believe in the overall... Um, community. I believe in the coin. I feel like the utility is great. Um, I believe there is a Wellies uh, Shiba Inu restaurant open that does take Shiba Inu as currency. Um, there is Shibarium in the works as well. That is a burning mechanism to reduce the overall supply of, I think, 50, 550 trillion. So I think by 2032 to 2035, that's when we could see the one penny one penny to one cent i'd have to double check my video i made but i'll post it up top for you guys um, but that's a great video that extrapolates data of the shiba inu coin um, based on 
a low and a high as our point of references. So we have a low point and a high point, and it, it's extrapolated based on market cap, and which is affected by money in the markets. I'm sorry, the money supply. So um, this is dependent on creating more currency, printing more dollars. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I think Shiba Inu Coin is going to hit one penny to one ten cents in 2034, 2035. Um, but yeah, this I just wanted to make a part two to my periods of when to make money video just because... Um, Feel like there was some question between Samuel Benner, George Trich, also looking at 2007 to two, or 2008 2012, the Great Financial Crisis, and the um, Great Lockdown, which occurred in 2019, or I'm sorry, occurred in 2020. And if we go back here, 2019, we can see uh, the panic from 2019 to 2023 is captured there. 2019 2023 captures the pandemic, or sorry, the Great Lockdown. So, uh, yeah, that is all I've got for you guys. Um, please, uh, if you made it this far, subscribe to the video, like it, share it with your friends, and I hope you have a great day or night. Talk to you soon. Bye.